Hi everybody, Nate here from WASD20, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking a little about the tabletop role-playing game class that I will be teaching for high school students this coming January. And we're going to be opening their dice, which came in the mail. My students each got to custom select uh, their own dice from Chessex. So I've got a big box full of dice here. Should be good. So in case you're wondering how I came to be able to teach a tabletop role-playing game class, uh, the high school where I teach offers a program called Winterum. Students sign up usually for two classes, a morning class for three hours and an afternoon class for three hours for this two-week period between first and second semester. And teachers are encouraged to offer classes that they wouldn't normally teach during the semester, uh, out of the norm, if you will. And uh, two years ago, I had the opportunity to teach a class called So You Want to Slay a Dragon, a class all about tabletop role-playing games, and I get to teach that again this year. Uh, last year, I led a trip, which a lot of students do go on trips. Uh, a lot of students do internships as well. Uh, but this year, I'm happy to be back doing the tabletop role-playing game thing. So uh, Chessex is kind enough, uh, they were two years ago, and were once again this year, to offer a education discount to me for my students so that I could uh, get a set of dice for each student. So that's really awesome of them. And uh, I'm going to be opening these up here and we'll take a look. This is my handy Urukai dagger, I call it, or uh, rusty trusty. And actually, this might work a little bit better here. Get a cleaner cut. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah. Check those out. Yeah, so beautiful, really cool. Let's take a look at these here. And uh, yeah, we'll take a look at the dice, and then I'll tell you a little more about the course too. Uh, there's also a link to some more information in the description if you're curious and learning more about the course. But uh, Speckled Space, good choice. We've got uh, Speckled Hurricane. Actually, we've got two Speckled Hurricanes here. Love these, kind of a gold, uh, gold numbers with uh, black and purple speckles. Super cool. Got four of these uh, speckled water here. No, yeah, speckled water. Yep. And one more. Then we've got some uh, traditional here opaque blue and white, and some opaque red and white. Classic. These are cool. Uh, opaque, dusty blue, and copper. Sort of a navy blue with copper, a dusty navy blue. Really cool. Oh, I love these ones, these are very unique. These are speckled fire. Then we've got opaque black with gold. Actually, we've got three of these opaque black with gold. Beautiful. Uh, then we've got speckled air. These are unique, I like the red letters they've got going there. Very cool. These also have red letters. These are speckled granite. And then we've got two speckled mercury sets. Very nice. We've got the speckled stealth. And the opaque black and red. They were all out of the translucent uh, seven dice sets. So that was unfortunate, but still lots of other cool ones to choose from. So a little more info on the actual course that I'm teaching. Uh, I will put a link in the description uh, to my website where I have some information. Most of the materials are there, uh, mostly from the time I taught it two years ago. Uh, so I'll be updating them a little bit, but uh, we'll give you a basic feel for, for what the course is. Um, I would love to, if you're a teacher and you're in a position to be able to do something like this, I would love to talk more to you because I think it's a great uh, option for kids. And obviously, you know, get some good opportunities for uh, extracurricular stuff too. I know there's lots of RPG clubs out there, including one we have going right now at my school, uh, which is really cool. Another thing I'll do here is I'll put a graph on screen here and you can see this is, a, I gave a little Google form that included uh, choose your set of dice for sure. Uh, some other, you know, what are some of your hobbies and interests? What are some of your favorite works of fiction? And I also included a question about uh, your 
level of experience with tabletop role-playing games and my students uh, answered and you can see their answers here so about half the kids have never played a tabletop role-playing game before so that's really cool I'm really glad that I get to be the one to introduce them uh, to tabletop role-playing games we'll be talking about the history of role-playing games uh, students will be doing presentations on various role-playing game systems and we will actually be playing role-playing games during class too obviously uh, the games that I usually select are D&D uh, &D 5e, so we do play a fair amount of that, and we will be playing Star Wars Force and Destiny. Uh, actually, I think we're going to be playing some of the other Fantasy Flight uh, Star Wars games as well, not just this one. And then I'm leaning toward perhaps um, ICRPG or maybe some Fate Accelerated. Uh, I wanted to get another kind of simpler rule system there. Fate Accelerated has some appeal to me because it's just so different um, than than the other systems. Uh, really heavy emphasis on narrative and uh, kind of that collaborative storytelling that, that uh, role-playing games are all about. Uh, but I would need to get some Fate dice for that, so I'm not sure if that'll happen. But I'm really excited to be able to teach the class again. And I uh, just want to thank Chessex for hooking me up here with a nice discount. Uh, I'll put a link to Chessex's website in the description as well. So go support them as a way of uh, thanking them for uh, supporting teachers like me. And uh, yeah, if you have any other questions about the course or anything like that, uh, put those down in the comments. I would love to hear from you. And I will also probably be doing my uh, video blogs, vlogs, uh, for during the course while I'm teaching it uh, for kind of what happens each day. I did that last time and that was really a uh, fun thing for me to do to be able to just kind of reflect on how things went for that day, what we did in class and how I think it went. And uh, other people seem to enjoy that too. So I'll, I will likely do that again. All right. Thanks for watching this one, everybody. Hope you're having a good weekend and take care. You'll see me again very soon.